1992, nuclear safety in our region has been identified as a top priority of the international community. The focus in those early days was indeed on the safety of the old Soviet reactors in our countries of operation. We were asked to extend our operations to Ukraine and to deal with Chernobyl. It has been the worst accident ever happened in nuclear history. The, the first objective there was to indeed assure an early closure of Chernobyl, definitely the most dangerous nuclear reactor in the world. In 1997, Bank was asked to also establish the Chernobyl Shelter Fund and to kick off the most complicated of all the programs that we manage, and this is the, the whole plan on how to convert the site of the 1986 accident into a safe state. We ended up with the remains of this exploded reactor encased in an unstable shelter. When we became involved in the program in 1997, there was clearly a fear of another nuclear accident. There was a fear of the collapse of the shelter. There was a fear of a constantly leaking radiation. The biggest project completed so far has been the stabilization of the existing shelter. That work has been completed in 2008. New safe confinement is a structure that has never, never been built in the history. It's an R-shaped structure, more than 100 meters tall, but it's more than just a shell. It is also a workshop. It has to provide an environment in which people will be able to carry out the waste management activities for a period of probably 100 years or so. We are now at a stage where the design of the new safe confinement, certainly the most formidable of the projects that we need to finance, is being reviewed and the current schedule suggests that this facility should be operational in about four years' time. The process of European integration and accession was then another, another factor in our activities. Uh, European Commission asked the bank in 1999 to consider assuming the responsibility for the decommissioning funds. The purpose of these decommissioning funds was to help the new EU member states deal with their old Soviet reactors. The last element that we deal with was a result of an initiative of Scandinavian countries and the Commission to finally deal comprehensively with the nuclear legacy of the Soviet Northern Fleet. Yeah.